Let's explore similarity with the blue and red triangle. Well, they each have a congruent angle right there, x and m, and then it looks like, if I write these down, these sides appear to be proportional. 20 is to 15, and 16 is to 12. And if you weren't sure of that, you could just do this. You could simplify, you could divide out the common factors, and you'd see you're left with 4 and 3 there. And then you could do that again, divide out the 4s over here, and of course you would have 4 and 3 again. And that further tells you that the scale factor is 4 to 3 from red to blue. Well, let's see if we have two similar triangles. And we'll get that scale factor if we do. We do have a pair of congruent angles. Right angles are congruent. And now I'm going to compare the corresponding sides. So that's the only way we have to test them. I'm going to compare the big one, the big leg to the big leg, small leg to the small leg. There's no chance that it could be the other way. So let's. Um, we could do this a couple different ways. Oh, and by the way, I put um, B to A since that's the way we're asking for our scale factor. And I would just do a little factoring there, a little illustration. We divide out the fives, divide out the threes, and this tells us a couple things. We've confirmed our proportion, and we actually already know our scale factor is two to three. Now let's just make sure we line up our vertices correctly. So the D is the right angle, all right? The D corresponds with W, E corresponds to Y, and the F corresponds with X. And they're similar by side angle side similarity, scale factor, we already know that. B is to A, as six is to nine, 10 is to 15, or two is to three. Well, let's see if we can determine these two triangles similar. And, start right there by definition if two angles have the same measure then they are congruent so that's our congruent angle our included angle and let's just check these two ratios see if this is a proportion and we'll take it this way and, and again I'm going B to A as, as we were asked to by our author so I'm going to compare the 10 to the 8 and the 24 to the 18 and same thing I'm going to confirm by dividing out common factors. Dividing out some sixes, dividing out a pair of deuces. And I can see already that yes, we have a, a proportion. So these two triangles are similar by side angle side similarity. And again, make sure we get them in the right order. JKL, that corresponds to RST. And we already have the scale factor right there in black and white. It's five to four. Well, if you got this far, honestly, you're mostly done. You are supposed to draw a picture of P, Q, R, looking similar to X, Y, oh, I said Y, Z, given that the congruent angles are here, the included angles, and you had a variable expression here and here and the numbers 4 and 5 here. We don't really know what the rest of the triangle looks like, nor does it really matter. If we can find that these are sides are proportional, these corresponding sides, then the triangles are similar by side angle side similarity. That's all there is to it. So all we have to do is demonstrate this or find a value of n that makes it so. Now I know, um, well let's just solve this. Of course some don't just rush off and do all that cross multiplying, get those big numbers. Um, yeah, let's simplify this just a wee bit. I mean, yes, you could say 20 times n plus 1, but I've got a 4 in the numerator here and a 4 in the denominator there. Let's divide out the 4s first. Now we can cross multiply. And that way we're dealing with, well, smaller numbers. So now 7n minus 1 times 1 equals. 5n plus 5. Remember, you've got to distribute. Multiply that 5 times the n and by the 1. Now you're a home free. Let's subtract the 5n from both sides of the equation. Add the 1. Divide by 3. Just algebra. 
Well, let's show that we have two similar triangles here. I'm going to shade them in so we can talk about them. This one, the smaller one, and this one, which overlaps with it. So, well, I guess I'm going to try to set some proportions up here. I could do it two ways. First, let's go side, side, side. I'm going to set up all the proportions this way. I'm going to say 15 is to 15 plus 5, or 20, as 16 and a half is to 16 and a half plus 5 and a half, 22, as 18 is to 24. Now we could just divide with a calculator, 15 divided by 20. All these will get 0.75, you already know that. But if you're faster, you want to be faster than that, we'll just go with similar fractions, because I can see that this is divide out the fives, divide out the sixes, three-fourths, three-fourths. I just double the numerator and denominator here. I've got 33 over 44. Divide out the 11s, each of them three-fourths. So they're similar by side, side, side similarity. Not so fast. We could have done it even quicker using side angle side similarity. Both this triangle and this triangle contain angle H. The included angle between these two potentially proportional sides. So I've got that. All I have to do is demonstrate this honestly, which we just did on the left, so I'm not going to do it again. They each come out to be three-fourths or three-quarters. So these triangles are similar by side angle side similarity as well. And make sure you get them in the right order. Well, let's see if we can find two similar triangles. I think we can. Well, the obvious, we've got the vertical angles, and those will be the included angles. I'm guessing we're looking to compare this side to this one, and Oh, this one to this one. Are you ready? Watch this. Imagine if we picked this up and rotated it like this. There it goes. So you can see by looking at the triangles there, they look very similar. And I'm going to say that the ratio that I see down here, the 27, is to the 18, that U the 18, as this overall, this 21, is to this short piece down here, the 14. And if that's true, then I think we've got ourselves two triangles that are similar. So um, I could divide 27 divided by 18, or I could just do this. Honestly, if I do a little factoring, I factor out the 9s there. I factor out the save, or the 7s there. And I've got 3 halves equals 3 halves. So yes, those two sides are proportional. And therefore, ready for this? This is my conclusion. These are the two triangles that are similar. A, B, C, get them in the right order. You can see that the B corresponds to the E, and the A corresponds to the D. Let me rotate it back, because this is where it came from, right? Back there. Very good. Let's see if these two triangles are similar. And I'm going to start first by just visualizing this triangle rotated over like this. Um, if I spun it around, and you could do that, imagine it goes, woof, spin it around like that. But, you know, you can't do that with your paper so easily, so we're just going to say, you're, you're going to have to look at the figure. And clearly, we've got a congruent angle. So we're looking for side angle, side similarity. That's our best shot. I've got these two angles that are congruent, the two included angles. So then I'm looking at this ratio. The only way it's going to work is if the 21 corresponds to the 35, because 21 is smaller, uh, 21 smaller than 30, and 30 is smaller than 50. So let's pair those two together and see if we have similar fractions. And again, we could divide with our calculator. But how boring is that? You know, you get 0.6 both times. Or you could do it this way. If you're old school, do the factor thing. Oh, I like that better. Because you can do that mostly in your head. You divide out the 7s, divide out the 10s. And both of the ratios are 3 to 5, which means it is a true proportion. And therefore, 
I can conclude that the two triangles are similar by side angle side similarity and let's make sure we get them in the right order. Remember that X and the D are the vertices, they have to match. The J is going to match with the Y and then the G and the Z. Well, can these triangles be similar? Let's just sketch them according to this, well, these specifications right here. Then in application of the triangle sum theorem, also known as theorem 4.1, the angles must add up to 180 and there you have it. Um, not only can they be similar, they must be similar. And I'm going to call that angle angle. Well, let's see if these two triangles can be similar. We'll sketch them out. We already have it. And I'm going to check these two pairs of signs. That is to 20 is to 30 as 32 is to 40. They are proportional. You can see that they very simply both simplify to a ratio of 2 to 3. So it would look like a scale of 2 to 3, but this is what's wrong. Look at this. These angle measures are in a ratio of 2 to 3. That's not how it works. If you want side angle side similarity, these sides are proportional and the angles are congruent. Well, here's a classic math problem, certainly going to be on your SATs. And this is a case of side angle side. Now let's solve this thing. And it's easily solved, so let's, um, a couple things first. Let's assign a variable, h, for the height of the tree. And we're also going to convert the young lady's height into feet. We could solve it in inches, but we get a big number. Let's work in feet. Our answer will end up in feet, because we want our answer in feet. So, let's set it up. h is to 95, or h is to five and a half as 95 plus seven is to seven. And what we'll do next, add 95 and the seven. And at this point, let's just cross multiply and round. And I got about that. Now, that's the decimal approximation to the nearest foot would then be 80 feet.